day a little porridge. So little porridge here is due today. So we're just keeping an eye on her. So far, there's no fluid or anything coming from her vulva. No fluid bag. Mum thought she possibly was having a contraction this morning. Um, so we're just keeping an eye on her. We have had her in every time we've been going out just in case anything happens. At the minute, it doesn't look like birth is imminent, but there is being quite a bit of movement and she does seem a little bit panty. So I'm going to keep a close eye on her. I'm going to be out here just in the menage area so I can come up if I notice anything her starting to pull at the ground or anything, any of those signs that we're looking for. Um, so we just went out and bought some bark here. That's going to go in the chicken house. OT is trying to ha have a nibble at it. She thinks it's food. She clearly obviously isn't. <laughs> Bless her. And then we've got paint. Um, so we're going to have, we're going to paint the chicken house the same as the duck house. So I've got that in there to give, start giving that a go. And then we just put the um, the goats away. So I just let them back out again. So we have stable doors in order, which are going to go in that area there where Freya is just going in. So that's going to then be turned into another big stall so I can close it off if needed to separate anything or any babies or if I'm getting more animals later then we've got more space for them and I'm going to get a proper door put on where the sheep are at the moment where that temporary door um, with the mesh is. So that's all the plans that are coming coming through. You've come to say, see me have you? Oh close up on the nose. Hello sausage. I know I've got a trolley in here. Everyone's come to nose because I brought the trolley in here. Normally the trolley means dinner, which is why everyone's come over to have a look. But the trolley in this case does not mean dinner. <laughs> it's not dinner. Like right, we'll just go and check it out just in case. Because they are great. So you trying to eat my trousers, Mrs. Hmm? You eating my trousers? I was like, we will just have a good sniff of it just in case. It might be something edible. Might be. That's what she's saying right now. Um, so, as you can see, this is going out at the moment. She is, she is a bit panty, so I'm going to just keep a close eye on her. So, I'll just show you the chicken house that we built this weekend. It's down there. It's a chicken house with a run on it. So, um, my best mate Tessa came down and at the weekend and we spent hours down there. Unfortunately the weather was not uh, very kind to us so it kept raining and so but we managed to get it done. So we're very happy with it actually. And then we're just going to paint it up. Annie, stop eating my leg. What are you doing? Hmm? I'm zoomed in now so I can't see you. Yeah, so there, look, I think you're in heat. Look, you're waggling your tail. Good girls. You saying hello to Otie? Little Oats. Hopefully, as long as how he doesn't headbutt you. They've been pretty good so far. The only time they're a little bit funny is when there's food around. Oh, bless her. Porridge is so big. She was like, I'm so big around. Oi! Are you resting on me? Hey? Right, I'll take my the bark and everything down. So the bark is going to go in the run. So it's by an eight foot run. Hello, I know you're being headbutted. You're nibbling on me. Hey? Yep. I'm nibbling on you. So I'm just gonna head down there now and give you a closer look. So see you in a minute. Okay, so this is our little chicken house. It's got two little doors. So it's got one here, 
the one here. So one to go in the room, one to go in the house. It's got a little ventilation hatch here. Okay, so what I've done is I've put the rubber mat down like I have any other in the goat house and we're with the sheep. So there are the nesting boxes, two perches and there's a little pot hole here to go into the run. So the run is at eight foot. So it's got a little door here too. So little pot holes here and the run is here. So I've got the bark to go in here. I'm also I'm going to get like a big sand pit to go at the end. Um, I'm going to have the food and water here, so just by the other side of the pot hole. And then this is all going to be got all got bark in it. So I'm going to do it quite deep at the moment, and then hopefully when that starts to all turn into mulch, it'll all go a lot um, thinner and a smaller batch. And then I just basically have to either clean it out uh, maybe once a year or so. And see how we go. So that's the plan. So that's why I'm gonna, I'm gonna start painting it again in a second because it's fairly warm out and I'm hoping it's not gonna rain at least for the next couple of days, fingers crossed, because it's, it's been so boggy and mushy here because it's so much rain and after the snow. So little ones are out, just having a mulch around, so it just means I can keep a close eye on her while I'm out here. And I'll keep popping up to check on her. So she's starting to get any discharge and see whether the baby's going to be imminent. They also got a little um, chicken swing, which I'm also going to pop in here as well. Um, so that's going to be attached to the, the rafters. And the little duckies are just having a little drink from the pond at the moment. But it's looking a bit grey, so I'm hoping it's not going to rain. I did say it's not going to be. It shouldn't rain, but we'll see. All right. I'll show you once we get going. I'm also going to make a no dig skirt with the aviary mesh around the bottom of the the run. Um, obviously, hopefully to stop anything trying to dig in the gravel to get under into the run. The house is all secure, so that shouldn't be an issue. But just to stop anything getting in um, and digging into the run, uh, I'm going to put that down. So at least needs to be at least a foot. So I'm likely to be about two foot around all of, around the run so I'm just going to staple it on with the staples I used for putting the aviary mesh on and put that around the bottom of the run all the way around and hopefully that will keep them nice and protected. Alright, bye!